striker makes hip and knee joint replacements, surgical devices and hospital beds. Right, this is the company that's headquartered in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We've said that before in our intros. It's a company which really specializes in medical devices. So not only joints and hips, like I was saying earlier, but also all that fancy endoscopy equipment. That's surgical equipment that they use for doing that keyhole surgery. Market cap here, $38.2 billion. Price to earnings ratio, 41.5. Dividend yield of 1.37%. Does Stryker strike your fancy? Well, I, it does, yeah. I think the fact that people live longer and people have sort of, um, you know, health issues when it comes to that and they can't, you know, uh, depend on their own bodies carrying them for, for all those years, even though their health could, you know, still be, be fine to live. These are the sort of um, sort of operations and, and implementations that you will have to get um, if, as you get older. The longevity so, theme. Yes, definitely a longevity theme. The company, again, I think it's also one that it doesn't hasn't outperformed significantly when you look, um, you know, against the S and P, for instance. But I think it's a great company, and it has sort of a specific niche area that that offers um, offers a great growth opportunity, especially into the states going forward. Do we say striker or striker? Striker is Stryker correct. Is right. yeah. Let's have a look at the share chart. Uh, look, you're right. Mia is correct. The S&P has done very well, but that's not a bad looking no. chart. I mean, it thunders along. It's hit that 100 Rand a share number, which is often a marker in the US market for a share split to be followed up. 41 PE is quite expensive, mm. but it is a company that's delivered spectacular growth with regard to its organic business as well as acquisitions. So 41 lots of PE, you heard a murmur of, uh, I think that was panic. <laughs> <laughs> 41 PE is high. It is high. So I think if you compare this to something like Johnson & Johnson, where we're already getting a bit of a exposure to um, this sort of industry, then this might not look as attractive. The fact that there is built in, you know, significant expectations around the growth does give it a bit of a negative feel when it, when it comes to that. But mm. yeah, great company. Paul, you've never been one to shy away from a high PE. Yeah, <laughs> look, I like the reconstructive surgery theme because there's no real upside mm. limit there. You know, we know that people have the money to get these things. You know, the doctors like them. We know the technology's evolved so you can actually have them in and they last. Remember in the old days when our parents first started having these things, they wouldn't give you a joint replacement until you were 60 because it wouldn't last until you were going to yes. die. So there was that kind of concern. Now you just do one replacement and pretty takes Maybe even pretty another one, but it, it takes you through to the end. So there are other companies in this space. Zimmer Biomet is the other company that's there. And then mm -hmm. there's a UK based company called Smith & Nephew. But Stryker is by far the biggest and the best. Plus, it gives you all those other things. I mean, that keyhole surgery stuff is just obviously a huge area. People are going to their gastroenterologist when they're 50 for a colon scan. It's the same equipment they use. So all of the hospitals have this stuff. Mm. They're spending. And remember, capital expenditure by hospitals is one of the key things that's happening in terms of Obamacare in America. So yes. the sales have been very strong. The management team is young and dynamic. I mean, I think these are the kind of companies you want to earn. Getting a glowing rec report here from Paul. Could you be convinced that at that high PE, it's... It's worth buying into. Well, I think it's a it's a hot company, but the price probably isn't so right for me. It's difficult to to justify that. But if you if you look at technology and the way technology grows and how this company has actually used that to their benefit and how they will definitely in future also use that technology growth in their in their benefit, it could be justified. Hot, mm. I'm hot on it. Poor, hot or not? Yeah, and as I said, this does presuppose that you have a little bit more money internationally, mm. so you can go for a Johnson Johnson and this too, and then you can add a pharma company and a hospital company as well.